The strength of the Missouri Valley Football Conference was on display last Saturday as the Bison of North Dakota State had to rally from 13 points down in the fourth quarter to remain unbeaten. NDSU celebrates its 93rd annual homecoming on Saturday as Missouri State makes another trip to Fargo. This has been a dogfight for us and we're anticipating it'll be that way this year. Although the Bears sit 1-5, they have been a challenge for the Bison in recent years, including a four-point decision last season and a three-point loss for NDSU in 2010. You know, as you watch the tape, I'm baffled at the record uh, because uh, you know, they, they've got good players and they play hard and uh, they've been in a lot of games and they've lost a lot of close games. The previous time they came to the Dome, it was, uh, it was a really good game. So it's kind of inconsistent with these guys and we're going to have to try to get back on board, get in the film room and uh, figure some things out and uh, come out hot on uh, Saturday. Offensively, Missouri State has committed 11 turnovers, but junior Kiara Harris has thrown for over 900 yards and is second among FCS quarterbacks with seven rushing touchdowns this season. Uh, they're a you know, wide open offense, spread offense, and so some of our advantage with our, our size and strength inside that gets neutralized. For a second straight week, the Bison offense will line up against a 3-4 defense one that forced five turnovers in a win over Illinois State two weeks ago. They're athletic, and that's scary. They take risks, which is really scary, and their corners are aggressive, and they know how to make plays, even though they might not have been making them in the past. They know what they're doing. They have the ability to blitz on, on either side of the, the line, and they can do a lot of twisting with the D-line, and, and um, it's just tough to see where the pressure's coming from sometimes. The Bison have won 14 straight games the longest streak in the FCS. They put that on the line at one o'clock Saturday on Gate City Bank Field. We're not gonna overlook these guys.